Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. With the home market for business students stagnating over recent years, many European business schools have set their sights on overseas expansion to fuel growth and revenues. Though most have targeted countries in Asia and the Middle East, a few of the more adventurous have opened facilities in the US, the home of the MBA, but with varying degrees of success. Someone who knows all about this is Fiona Devine, Dean of Manchester Business School, which will be rebranded Alliance Manchester Business School later this month. Professor Devine, um, you had a campus in Miami, you mm -hmm. don't anymore. What were the yeah. specific problems there in the US yeah. market for European mm -hmm. Business School? Well, first of all, I should say we didn't have a campus as such, and we don't have campuses around the world. We have global centres where we have some workshop delivery, but they're not campuses. Um, so we went into the American market because we were moving from premises that we had elsewhere in the Caribbean. Um, but it was, as you can imagine, the US is a, a, a wash with business schools. It's a very competitive market. Um, so we've made the decision to come out of Miami uh, and to enter into a relationship with the Kelly School of, of Business. Uh, and we think that will be the way to go, not just in the US, but in other parts of the world, is to have collaborative arrangements with, with top universities in, in different continents. So, so the big problem in the US, or one of the big problems, was actually they're seeing their market stagnate tremendously yes. as we are in Europe. Yes, yeah. so it's a very competitive market and if you think of the wider context and the financial crisis in 2007-8, um, so all of us have been competing um, in, this, in this climate, so that's the context in which we've made that decision. It's also the, 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 the idea that people who come to the US to study or want, who want to study in the mm -hmm. US want a US business school and not European. They may well do. I mean, you can understand why that is the case. But hopefully with the relationship that we're going to have with Kelly, it's now that we're getting the best of both brands and that's going to be particularly attractive to all of our global MBA students studying around the globe. Yeah. Right. So I mean, one of the big issues with setting up overseas operations is that uh, professors have to travel and that, that's yes. obviously uh, often a sticking point isn't yes, it? So yes. is, this, is this kind of relationship um, with the Kelly School, is that yeah. going to make it easier for you to actually operate as you want to? Yes, I would hope so. So we'll be drawing on faculty of, of both universities and both of us will use adjunct colleagues as well. Um, and I'm sure that this will lead to some interesting collaborations. And I would hope not just in terms of delivering the global MBA, but also in terms of executive education collaborations, maybe collaborations in terms of research and so on. So I know that in any relationship that I enter into with another organization, and same for true for the University of Manchester, is thinking about all the collaborations that we could have across the piece. That's very important. Right, so, yeah. so what about Manchester, about the UK? I mean, is it mm -hmm. still a problem for UK business schools to attract overseas students because of the visa issues? Um, to some extent, yes. Yeah. So as you can imagine, the UK would have been a very popular and is a very popular destination for, for students from overseas to come and study here. So having that then year after they'd studied to gain some work experience was a real benefit for the UK. So it, it is a disappointment that we're not in the position to offer that anymore and we must be losing students who want to go elsewhere where they can get that experience. At the same time, the UK does remain still a very popular destination for students. So, you know, we have considerable demand from overseas for both of our undergraduate programmes, uh, our MBA, uh, our DBA, but also our specialist masters and PhD. So, it's a factor that's playing in there. I'd say it's important. We could be doing better if we had it, but we still have very high demand for our courses. Professor Devine, just a final yeah. question. You are. A sociologist, not yes. an economist or a marketing professor. Yeah. Um, how difficult has it been for you to um, get to grips with the world of, of business schools? And do you think we'll yeah. see more of these cross-departmental okay. appointments in the UK in future? Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it's been challenging, but also great fun. Um, it's really interesting coming into the business school world and finding such an interdisciplinary context. So there's plenty of sociologists in business schools along with mathematicians, physicists, you name it. So that's exciting. It has been very striking uh, uh, coming across, you know, how 
challenging the recruitment is of, of top faculty and, and retaining people because there are so many opportunities across the world uh, and also outside academia as well. So that has been something that I've really had to, to learn and, and think about very hard about how to manage that situation. Um, in terms of people moving across, I can imagine that will be the case as well. You, you learn skills in, in uh, other managerial positions and, and you can transfer those across to the business school world as you can with, with other spheres as well. Professor Devine, thank you very much indeed. Okay. For more interviews with business school deans, go to ft.com forward slash business education.